very well. Oh, she's peeing or something. Honey. She's peeing. Sugar, no. <laughs> we'll let her finish so she's on one spot. Since we saw Sugar pee on our floor last night, I wanted to show you how we clean it up. Uh, we cleaned it up last night, but I thought since I had it out, I'll show you how to use this. This is our Bissell spot cleaner, and it works perfect for dog accidents in the house. And so what you do is you fill this side up with water. It has a line for the water and then a line for the formula. And I don't usually use the formula because I'm just cleaning one spot at a time and it doesn't even use this much water, but I filled it clear to the top. Um, this is empty. It looks full because we use it quite often and it's we've had it for several years. So you put the water on and then this is the cleaning part. It's got a scrub brush on one side and a carpet with the rubber, whatever that is. And then this is where it sucks the water up. So you put the little circle right over where the spot is. And then it has for surface stain, set in stain, if you wanna just run the hose, and then the stop, pause and resume. Um, I normally just do the surface stain because it really puts down a lot of water. If you do the set in stain, it runs for six minutes. If you do the surface stain, it runs for three minutes. Just do the surface stain and then I'll take this part off and run it again. So then it just does the sucking instead of putting the water down. Then it gets the extra water up out of the carpet. Or you can take the hose off and just soak it up with the hose. But because I don't put the cleaner inside, I usually just spray a little bit of cleaner on the carpet before I put it on, which will make bubbles when it starts sucking the water up and you'll be able to see that in a minute. But that's usually how I do it so I don't have to put the cleaner in that side. Okay, now the water's down, it's starting to scrub. Now it's gonna suck. Now it's sucking the water up. And it tells you that it's done. With three beeps. Then you push stop. And you have to push stop before it'll start again. And that's what it looks like when it's done. She scrubs a little circle. So last night I did a circle there and a circle there and a circle there so that I made sure I got the whole thing. But first I soaked it up as much as I could with a paper towel. We really like this carpet cleaner. We've had it for several years. So I just ran it a second time without the water tank on so that it would suck more water up. But I'm gonna show you now how to use the hose. So it attaches here, you push that button, pull on it, it's wrapped around. But I use this on my couches all the time. This is how I clean my couch. So then I'll spray it and suck the water back up. So then I just push the um, hose. <laughs> usually put a fan on it just to help it dry quicker. And that's it. Check out the Bissell Spot Bot. We bought ours on Amazon and I looked at it yesterday. It was on sale. So if it's still on sale, now would be a good time to get it. But we really like it. We use it for the couch, the carpet, anything you need a little handle to clean with. Another thing I like to do um, is just turn the hose on so that it's sucking and just let it go for like three or four minutes just so that it gets all the air through there and make sure it gets all of the the liquid through and out of the hose so it doesn't sit in the hose when it's storing.